Hello, fourth graders. Today I'd like to teach you how to go about looking and reading the comments that a teacher may have given you on a particular assignment and how to use the calendar so that you can see what assignments are given each day. So when you log into the Red Schoolhouse Portage fourth grade, go to your second folder, Portage by the Week, and I know that I was given an assignment on Monday called a Math Scavenger Hunt. I'm gonna click on Monday, September 14th, and I'll go to my math assignment and open up that particular assignment. Typically, the tab open is the info, and you can see that solid dark blue line under info tab at the top left. If you go to the next tab over, one to the right called submissions, the blue line will then move to under submissions. If you then go up to the upper right hand corner, you will see a speech bubble with three dots in it. If you click on that, it will show you submission comments. So now I had submitted this assignment three times just because I was practicing. But you'll notice here from Becky Har, which is Mrs. Har, you have a comment that says great examples. Well done, Becky. So any submissions that have comments on them can be seen this way. Remember to go over to the submissions tab. The other thing that I would like to show you is how to view your calendar. So typically you'll be going into courses and, and into the Red Schoolhouse, but if you go to the upper left-hand corner to the three horizontal lines and then press the back arrow, it will give you some options messages, notifications, requests, courses. But if you go down to calendar and click on calendar, it will show you there are two tabs, upcoming and calendar. Upcoming will be anything that's assigned from here to what your teacher has uploaded to Schoology. But if you again go to the second tab called calendar, you will see where there is assignments. So if I start on Monday, September 14th, there's a blue dot underneath it. That day I had the scavenger hunt and decorate writer's notebook. On Tuesday the 15th, I had math lesson 1-1. On Wednesday the 16th, I had number top it. Tomorrow, I have math lesson 1-2. And then touching on the 18th, I have an optional number puzzle grid, hopes and dreams, and an optional enrichment for lesson one, two. So those are two different ways to look at some of the information that your teacher has responded or to see what assignments you have or are upcoming.